Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this third episode in the Discount Bookshop podcast spin-off series where each episode we'll read a poem from new poetry book, uh, Poems for a Discount Bookshop. That poetry book is of course the first published by our very own Caroline Hodgson-Brown, supervisor of the Droitwich Spa branch of the Discount Bookshop. Each episode I read out another of her poems from the book in the hope that it takes your fancy and you're inspired to buy her book for £6, available in all branches of the Discount Bookshop. Anyway, you're here for the art, so bring on the art for goodness sake. Here is Caroline's third poem. Poems for a Discount Bookshop by Caroline Hodgson Brown Poem 3. A Herd of Toy Cows I got to work one day, and what do I see? A whole box unopened, waiting there for me. I take a look inside, and what do I see before me? Another box inside that box, and another box makes three. Where could it have come from, this mysterious box cubed? Did it just fall from the sky, or was it just removed? From a distant land, I wonder if it's lost. If it, if I were to send it far away, I wonder how much it had cost. Oh box, box, you do intrigue me. Oh box, box, do you deceive me? Oh box, box, I will open you now. What's inside? A herd of toy cows. Well, interesting one that. And there's actually a bit of context that Caroline sent me for this one. Uh, Usually she likes to let the poems speak for themselves, but on this occasion it seems that there's a story that goes alongside that. Uh, So I'll read out the poet's notes, as it were. As you will have heard, that poem is called A Herd of Toy Cows. Now you may be sitting there wondering why I would write that as the title when it gives away what's in the box. Wouldn't it be better if it was a surprise? Well, the story goes that on a warm but overcast Tuesday, I arrived at work and noticed that we had a delivery. Not a delivery of stock for the shop, but rather an online order which had been ordered by a customer from our website and delivered to the shop by post. I looked to see which which customer had ordered the delivery and it it didn't have a name. No name of a customer and no name of a shop. I stood a while wondering what to do before a thought suddenly came to me. Out of nowhere, I said out loud, I bet it's a herd of toy cows. No one heard me as I was the only one around, but I just had a feeling. I took the box upstairs and opened it. Inside was a box, and inside that box was another box. I opened the final box, and as I began cutting into it, I saw a small black and white figure. I gasped. Could it be? I thought to myself. Surely not. I continued to open it, and sure enough, there was a herd of toy cows looking up at me. We all stared at each other for a while, wondering what it all meant, when suddenly there was a ring on our shop doorbell. It was from someone at the neighbouring toy shop. They asked if their package had arrived yet, and it was then that I realised. I didn't predict the future after all. Zoe from the toy shop had told me the day before that they were expecting a delivery of toy cows, and asked me to keep a lookout. I handed them over, disappointed by my lack of psychic ability, And that was the end of the herd of toy cows. So there you go. She's nothing if not a storyteller, our Caroline. So I hope you enjoyed the poem and the bonus story. If you did, please consider buying Caroline's 100 poems for £6. um, Available in all branches of the Discount Bookshop. It is called Poems for a Discount Bookshop and is available now. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on the live feed of sale figures for the book, uh, so I'll just have a look now to see the latest. Um, Our target for this episode was to get to 10 sales, and oh my goodness, it must be a miracle, I simply can't believe it, we've reached a whopping 11 sales. Well done everyone. Do you know what? No, let me find... Where is that from the 20th 
anniversary of Melissa working in the shop. Here it is. A celebratory noise. A celebratory noise. Some more celebratory noises. We can't believe that we got to 11 sales. Extraordinary. Well done, everybody. Well, we have massively exceeded expectations there. Uh, my expectations, at least. I thought we wouldn't have sold a single book after the poem last week. Not that it was bad, but... Not, not, that, it was, not that it was bad. Anyway, well, I hadn't even thought about what the next target would be. Um, I thought it would just stay the same. So let's say for the next episode, we'll try and get to 15 copies sold. I think that's manageable. 15. God, Caroline will be so pleased about that. Unless, of course, she just bought all of those herself, in which case she'll already know, I suppose. Well, thank you so much for everyone listening to this episode of the Discount Bookshop spin-off poetry series. Please take the time to click like, uh, subscribe for more content, and there might just be another brand new Caroline Hodgson Brown poem for us to read in the next episode. What a delight! Cause for celebration. All right, thanks a lot.